Hi, my name is Zina and this is Zina Report. Today I will walk you through how I compare and buy travel insurance for a trip. This time my trip includes a cruise as well as a train ride and airfare and hotels so I will focus on how to get cruise specific travel insurance as well and make sure you stick around till the end because I will share with you the five tips and secrets essential for buying travel insurance. With that, let's get started. I will share my screen. Okay, we are on the Insure My Trip website. Insure My Trip is an aggregator, so they will take your information and pull quotes from several of the large travel insurance providers. Start a quote. Okay, it's asking where you're going. This time we're going on a cruise. And if you go on a cruise, they want the country of the first port destination, so Mexico. Okay, the date that you're leaving home, so your first flight or when you're traveling by car or train. Uh, and the date you are returning home on. So this is when you arrive back home. Okay, the country of your citizenship and the state you live in. How many travelers and the ages of the travelers. Okay, here you have the option to select what you're doing. Are you taking a flight? Yes, we are. Going on a cruise? Yes. Renting a vacation home? These are optional, but they're going to give you um, specific insurance based on what information you put in. Uh, how much you trip total? And they're saying this would be if it's the morning of the vacation and you cannot go. How many things do you have that you reserved and it's non refundable? And it says here flights, hotels, resorts, vacation rentals, cruise costs, tours, excursions, etc. So we're going to put in uh, $1,250 or we're going to put in 1500 to make it easier. Okay. And when did you initially start booking your trip? This is optional, but this could be really important. So put that in there. Okay. They are searching the plans that they're going to recommend to me and they list the top three and then you can see all 20 plans here. You can update if your information wasn't correct. And if you want, to focus on a specific type of insurance, you can select it here. Let's go ahead and see all 20 comprehensive plans. As you see, the plans here, they're based on the amount of the total trip cost that you entered here. So they start from $76 and go all the way up until uh, $146 for the luxury cruise plan. Okay, so let's choose several of the plans to compare. You can choose as many as you want, but they show four at a time side by side. So uh, let's go with, I like to go with uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Let's go with their cheapest plans. They're usually pretty good. Um, let's go with the essential plan from Nationwide. Let's go with the basic plan from Travelex. One more. The luxury cruise plan from Nationwide. Let's actually select the safe Voyager travel because Voyager seems to me to be a cruise specific insurance. Okay, so we got these four and let's click compare. Okay, so four insurance plans side by side. Let's delve into the important stuff. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, Berkshire Hathaway is the cheapest here at 76. Save Voyager Travel, a close second at 79. Travelax for their basic is 116. And then we have Nationwide's Luxury Cruise for 146. All of them have four and a half stars and enough reviews. All these brands have an A-plus and better business bureau, so we know they're reputable. Okay, now here these amounts will be based off of your trip cost. So because your total trip is $1,500, they're going to divide it by two people or however many people you're traveling with. 
So a trip cancellation, they will pay up to 750 per person, which means they will pay 100% of the 1500. Okay, trip interruption, this is when you have to return from your trip in the middle of the trip for any reason, like something happened, the medical reason, um, and it's a covered reason. So as you can see, uh, Berkshire Hathaway and Travelex will also give you 750, and then Travic and the luxury cruise insurance from Nationwide go a little higher, up to 1125. Financial default, now this is important, guys. This is if your airline or cruise line, etc., cetera, uh, files for bankruptcy and you can no longer travel or use that portion of the travel. So you see here, there's a 10-day wait, a 14-day wait, etc. cetera. Um, what the wait means is after you do buy this policy, uh, say there's a 14-day wait, but the company declared bankruptcy seven days after you buy the policy, the financial default will not be covered under the policy. But if they declare bankruptcy 15 days after you purchase the policy, then you will be covered. Um, Berkshire Hathaway, as well as Travelex, require you to purchase your policy within 15 days of the initial trip payment. So if you bought your policy like a month after you booked, then no financial default will not be covered on your policy. Um, as you can see, this is terrorism. Some cover just foreign terrorism, some cover domestic. Travelex is not covering any terrorism. So right off the bat, you can see their numbers aren't that high. They do have a lot of requirements. They don't cover terrorism. They're not necessarily, you know, cheaper than all the other ones. So this is something I would not go with uh, based on just this information, but let's continue. Okay, now you can see Travelex has the lowest payback for a lost baggage. Um, Travic has a pretty high payout, $2,500 uh, in total. That's $300 per article and $500 in combined value. And the same here, the luxury cruise line is even better, $2,500 in total, $500 limit per article and $1,000 for combined max. Um, that basically means that if you're going on a cruise and if you are bringing expensive items such as camera gear, um, jewelry, uh, it is $500 per item, but it does give you a total aggregate, which is a lot more. So obviously you wanna have higher insurance if you're bringing more expensive items. Now you notice it's a secondary. And secondary means that if you have any other uh, provider that could reimburse you, such as if you use the credit card that has travel insurance, or if your airline is reimbursing you, then they would not cover it. They would act as backup, a secondary for uh, that loss, okay? Now, you also get a baggage delay, which means that if your bags are late in arriving, um, you get compensated for that. So um, the nationwide luxury cruise coverage comes in the best at six plus hours and a maximum of $1,000, which means if it's delayed six hours or more, you can get paid for it. Um, Travic International is eight, hundred, is eight hours and $600 max. And then... Uh, these two aren't as great. Uh, Travelex is 12 hours, but only $100. And Berkshire Hathaway requires it to be at least 24 hours late, and they do pay $200 maximum. Okay, and then travel delay is if your flight is delayed. So Travelex is the least amount of hours, five hours. So if your delay is five hours or longer, you get paid $250 per person a day for $500 max. Travic insurance is six hours but it's $150 a day and then with a $2,000 max. So it's less per day, but it will cover a delay of more days, which that's rolled into the max. Um, the Berkshire Hathaway is only is 12 hours, 100 a day for 500 max per person. And uh, the best we see here is uh, nationwide with the six hours and uh, 200 a day. Now guys, medical is super important. And medical is one of the main reasons why I buy travel insurance. Because if you go to a different country, they are not going to cover, uh, your American health insurance is not going to cover things that happen there. Um, any hospital visit can run you up tens of thousands of dollars. And it's just peace of mind. Now, specifically when you go on a cruise, 
um, they may have to evacuate you off the cruise because um, there's not enough adequate medical care um, for very um, you know, serious injuries or conditions. So for cruise specifically, you wanna make sure your medical coverage is pretty high. So as you can see, 250,000 with 750 included for the dental. This one is at 150,000 with 750 included in the dental. Now this one's really low, 15,000. Um, I don't think that's enough for medical. This one is also pretty low, 25,000. Um, if you're not going on a cruise and if you're going on a country where medical care is very cheap, then, you know, maybe this could be enough. But I would always try to find one with a really high medical coverage. It's worth the extra few dollars. Okay. Pre-existing condition. This is also very important to some people. If you have existing medical conditions, um, some cover, um, some cover if you bought uh, your insurance within 15 days of your initial trip payment. Um, and then there's a look back period to determine uh, for your pre-existing condition, and that's varied as well. Evacuation, this is also very important on a cruise ship. Like I said, you could uh, become ill with something that cannot be treated on a cruise ship. Sometimes they have to fly you back all the way to your home country to get you the best medical care. Um, 100,000 would not be enough for that, 150,000. Also not, they do have an emergency evacuation upgrade for free. So I would look into how much extra coverage that gives you, but a million dollar medical evacuation coverage, that's great for sure. And repatriation of remains is if you pass away while abroad. And so this would be enough to cover to fly you back home. Accidental death, this is like a life insurance policy. Uh, some are 25,000, some are 10,000, um, some, offer some cover the carrier only and the carrier would be um usually your uh aircraft things like that um and then this would be flight only so some is included but just the flight and some is not included so you have additional benefits this is really important all of them give you 24-hour emergency assistance which is definitely a good benefit but look here for a cruise missed connection and guys this is let's say your plane arrives late and the cruise left without you, or you got stuck in one of the ports and the cruise left without you. So anytime you book a cruise, I would say always, always look for missed connection. And you can see these two policies, you know, the Voyager, the luxury cruise, they definitely provided you with cruise specific benefits, you know, the higher evacuation benefit, the missed connection benefit. Uh, this one includes cancel for work reasons, which is a good benefit to have because I, uh, generally, you can't just cancel for a work reason. It's not always included as a, a valid reason to cancel. Um, and then here, uh, missed connection, if it's three hours plus, they pay you 2500 And then this one is really, really good for a cruise. It's an itinerary change. So let's say for whatever reason, uh, your cruise ship cannot dock in, an, in a port where they plan to dock and you're already prepaid for an excursion so they would reimburse you for that up to a thousand dollars per person okay and then here um it just tells you the refund policy uh i am in new york and i was told before by insure my trip that based on new york state laws there are no refunds for any of the policies so out of these i would say the most appealing to me are the traffic policy and the nationwide cruise policy. Um, obviously this is half price of this one. And I think this amount of coverage is enough for us. So this time I will go with the traffic international policy. Okay guys, welcome back. I hope that that was informative and helpful to you in booking your travel insurance. And thank you for sticking around and now as promised, the five tips and secrets for buying travel insurance. So tip number one, always buy travel insurance independently. So when you book your flight, when you book your cruise, even the train, you will often see the option, buy travel protection, uh, additional $100, additional $30. I don't recommend that. The reason being that if you buy just on the cruise, it may cover the cruise, but just the cruise, not the extra things you're doing. It's probably going to be more expensive and it may not necessarily have the specific coverage you want. If you do just the flight, that's the flight. 
Um, it's not going to cover anything else. It might not cover the rental cars, the hotels, um, you know, the extra days that you're staying. Um, obviously, you know, it might be expensive in and of itself. It's per person. Um, this one is per family. So when you buy like this, it covers everything. You get to choose the things you want. Make sure it's in the policy that's included. And more often than not, you will end up paying a lot, a lot less if you buy a travel insurance policy uh, by yourself directly. Okay. Tip number two, and this is a money saving tip. So when I was searching, I put in 1500 as our cost. Um, if you bought a lot of refundable uh, hotel stays or flights um, and or if you don't care to get necessarily as much money back but you do want to save money on the purchasing side of the policy um, some of the numbers will not change regardless so if it's 250,000 in medical it's gonna be 250,000 in medical whether you spend a thousand on your trip or whether you spend two thousand on your trip the only thing that's really gonna be different is uh, the trip cancellation and the trip interruption, which would be 100% of what you paid or 150% of what you paid. So if you're good with getting only, uh, let's say, $1,000 back or, you know, getting less per baggage or, you know, for, for trip interruption, then try to play with the numbers. Instead of putting in $1,500, if I put in $1,000, uh, the cost of the cheapest policy goes down by $20 to $56. Uh, sometimes, like if I put in twelve hundred versus I put in fifteen hundred versus I put in uh, seventeen fifty, you will see that my cost for that policy is still going to be the same. Maybe if I put in two thousand, that'll increase the cost. So just play around with the numbers. Um, obviously, you know you do want to have an accurate number of how much you bought, but you know oftentimes you'll buy travel insurance right after you booked your flights, so you didn't get your hotels yet. Uh, you didn't get the rental car yet. You didn't put deposits down on activities yet. So you're not 100% sure with that number. So just play around the numbers and stick to a number that you're comfortable with. And hopefully that'll help you save some money on buying the policy if that's what you're looking to do. Tip number three. Ensure my trip is going to send you a receipt with all the information. Like everything you saw in the breakdown, the numbers, uh, the amounts, what, what the insurance covers. And it's going to include your policy number and it's going to include a phone number for you to contact your policy directly. Print that out. Have that with you handy so you can always, always have it in case of an emergency. And they're also going to send you the actual policy. Uh, that's usually a PDF and maybe it's like 50 pages long. It has a lot, a lot of, you know, fine print, legal language. Have that handy. You don't have to print that out, but... Save it on your phone, save it somewhere where it's accessible, especially if you go to a place with uh, bad Wi-Fi or not enough internet connection. And that's because if you are in a situation, let's say it's a medical situation, go over to the medical pages and see exactly what they cover and how. Do you have to call them ahead and get authorization? What kind of doctors, what kind of care? Or if your baggage is delayed, like what do you have to do? What exactly it covers? It's just always, always really, really good to have that. Tip number four. Call right away if you think you have a claim, something happened, give them a call. The concierge service is open 24 hours a day and that's what they're here for. And also that sometimes is necessary to initiate your claim. They make a note of it. They give you a claim number. You can ask them questions. They tell you what to do. And that is how you activate your claim benefits if you need to. So give them a call right away. And by the way, guys, this is what ended up happening in our Costa Rica trip. The flight got delayed by two nights because of really bad weather in New York and we did use our trip delay benefits. We called to make a claim. I will make another video about that. I'm just waiting for the claim to be finalized. It's taking a longer time because of COVID. But definitely subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when that video is out so you can see the exact process of the claim and how much they actually pay us back and if everything was successful and went the way it should with the claim. And with that, tip number five, save all your receipts and reservations. So even if uh, you didn't file a claim, when you filed a claim, they actually asked me for the flight reservations, the Airbnb reservations, the hotel reservations, even for the days 
that were just in the trip, not just for those two days uh, where the flight got delayed. So keep records of everything. And especially if you are filing a claim, you will need all hotel reservations in addition to hotel receipts, food, re food receipts. If you buy any toiletries or anything, you need receipts, receipts, receipts. Guys, I can't stress that enough because without it, your claim may be denied. And bonus tip number six, guys. Try to buy the travel insurance as soon as you make the first payment for your trip. So whether you put a cruise deposit, whether you bought just the flights or just the hotels, anything. Because as you saw in the video, sometimes some benefits will only be available to you if you booked within 10 days of the first purchase, within 15 days of the first purchase. Um, this can usually be um, the pre-existing medical condition. This can be uh, protecting you from a financial default of one of your providers. So book as soon as you can. Even if you do not know yet how much it's going to cost you to, um, you know, the exact prices of flights, hotels, and everything else, just guess and go with a number that you're comfortable with. But do not procrastinate on booking. Thank you so much for watching. This is Zena with Zena Report. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps YouTube show my channel to more people who can enjoy this type of content as well.